Good morning. Today, inshallah, we will start with chapter 10, lesson 1, cell growth, division, and reproduction. Let's start with my objective today. I need you to know, I and I need you to describe how the cell increases in size and what's the effect of the increasing of size on the cell, uh, transforming the information and transporting the materials. Let's start with the beginning with information overload. Living cells store critical information in the DNA. And as the cell grow, this information is uh, there is a demand for more information okay and at the same time if a cell were to grow too much an information crisis would occur so the main information in the cell or the critical information in the cell is the dna once the cell is grow it needs more information more dna so if there is no enough amount of the dna there will be information crisis Let's compare the cell to a growing town. The town library has limited number of books. So this is the library and have already limited number of books, similar to the cell that have limited amount of the DNA. Once the town grow, okay, or grows, it needs more books, more information for the uh, growing population or the growing town, similar to the cell the cell once it's grow it need more information more dna so the limited number of books are in a greater demand which limits the access of the population to the box similarity is happening inside the cell the cell need more dna and that will limit the access of the ingredient of the cell to the dna so a growing cell makes greater demand with the genetic library if the cell gets too big the dna wouldn't be able to help the growing cell we have many materials that will move in and out based on the cell's surface area we have water we have proteins we have electrolytes everything that is found in the cell materials must be exchanged around the cell membrane so the rate at which materials are used up depends on the cell volume and the ratio of the surface area to the volume is the key understand to understand why cells must divide as they grow so there is a ratio between the surface area to the volume okay and according to the surface area to the volume ratio the cell need to define to keep this ratio in a, sp uh, in a specific point Let's check or let's imagine a cell like a cube. As a cube length increase, the ratio will decrease. Can you see? We will measure first the surface area, then we will measure the volume, and then we will find the surface area to the volume ratio. Here, once the cube is one centimeter diameter, the surface area will be six centimeter and the volume will be one centimeter cubic okay so the surface area will be six over one which is six here once the uh, cube length is increased to three the surface area will stay will become will become 54 and the volume will become 27 and then the ratio will become two to one and according to the ratio between the first and the second the ratio will decrease and once the ratio is decreased the information will not be enough for the cell so let's compare the town as the town grow it's become more difficult to move information and goods if you want to uh, transport or we to move the information and the goods in the town it's really difficult once the town is big and the same thing is happening inside the cell a cell that continued to grow would experience a traffic problem. If the cell got too large, it would be more difficult to get oxygen and nutrients in the waste and the waste out. So it's really hard for the cell to transport the, inf the information and the nutrients and even the waste to the outside of the cell or to the cell inside if there is huge growth or if there is a grow with in the cell itself. Let's check what you mean by the division of the cell. Before a cell grows too large, it divides into two new daughters. So the cell will grow. Once it's reached specific amount or specific volume, it will divide to form two new cells by a, for, by a step called or a process called cell division. Cell divisions keeps a stable 
surface area to volume ratio. So the benefits of cell division is to keep a stable surface area to volume ratio. And we have many types of reproductions in the cell division. We have two types, which is asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Let's compare between these two types of reproduction. How do asexual and sexual reproduction compare? So let's start with asexual. Asexual reproduction, which is produced genetically two identical offsprings from single parent. So we have single parent. Okay, this is the parent. And it will, it will produce two offsprings. And these two offsprings are identical. This is one parent and two offsprings here. This is the asexual reproduction. Okay? While that's good. And the other, this offspring will divide to form two new daughter cells. And while the sexual reproduction, which is offsprings, inherit some of their genetic information from each parent. So here in this case, we have two parents and one offsprings. So again, you have to know that in the asexual reproduction, we have one parent, two offsprings. And in the sexual reproduction, we have two parents and one offsprings. In this case, uh, in the sexual reproduction, the offspring will take the genes from both parents, okay, from the mother and the father at the same time. Asexual reproduction, let's check the advantage and disadvantage of asexual reproduction. First, the advantage for asexual reproduction, it's a quick and produces many offsprings. While this advantage, it's given genetically identical and there is no diversity in the asexual reproduction. While the asexual reproduction, it have a huge advantage, which is, which is the genetic diversity here. While the disadvantage, it's take time and less producing the offsprings, okay? Let's make a quick review. What are the two reasons a large cell is problematic? Two reasons, let's check. The first one is too much demand on the DNA and the second one, less efficient at moving material. So the cell needs the cell division because it has two problems. The first one, too much demand on the DNA. The second one, the trophic, sorry, the less efficient at moving materials. The second question here, what ratio decreases as the cell gets larger? What the ratio that decreases here, which is, do you know the answer? Yes, that's correct. Surface area to volume ratio. Question number three, how many parents are involved in asexual reproduction? As you remember, it is one parent in asexual reproduction, while how do offsprings compare to the parent in asexual reproduction? Both um, offsprings and the parents are identical. Okay. How many parents are involved in sexual reproduction? In sexual reproduction, how many parents? We have two parents. And the last question, how do offsprings compare to the parents in sexual reproduction? We say that the offsprings will take both the DNA, part of the mother and part of the father DNA, and that will make the DNA mix of genes, okay? To this point, we are finished. I need you to recheck the information and have nice day. Bye-bye.